Mittens was a tiny orange tabby with a peculiar habit. Every day, she sat on the wide sill of an old cracked window in a small apartment building, gazing at the world outside. To the passersby, it seemed like just another cat staring aimlessly. But to Mittens, the window was a portal of dreams. Her owner, Mrs. Eleanor, was a kind but frail woman who rarely ventured outside anymore. Once a lively artist, she now spent her days knitting in silence, her vibrant paintings gathering dust. Eleanor had adopted Mittens when she was a kitten, hoping the little ball of fur would bring some cheer to her quiet life. And while Mittens filled the apartment with her playful energy, Eleanor still seemed distant, as if something in her heart was locked away. Mittens noticed this. She would climb onto Eleanor's lap, purring softly, nudging her hands, but the woman's smiles never reached her eyes. It made Mittens feel helpless. One evening, a strong wind rattled the window, and Mittens jumped up to investigate. Below, she saw a little girl with a red balloon standing near the lamppost. The girl seemed lost, her eyes scanning the streets nervously. Mittens pawed at the glass, meowing insistently. Eleanor shuffled to the window, curious about the commotion. When Eleanor saw the child, her heart lurched. Grabbing her coat, she stepped outside for the first time in months, following Mittens' persistent meows. The little girl, Emma, explained that she had wandered too far from her mother at the park and didn't know how to get home. Eleanor took the girl inside, warmed her up with cocoa, and called the number on the bracelet around her wrist. Soon, a tearful mother arrived, embracing her daughter with profound relief. Before leaving, the mother turned to Eleanor. Thank you. You've done more than you know. After they left, Eleanor sat down, stroking mittens who purred contentedly in her lap. Something had changed. That night, Eleanor picked up her old paintbrushes and began to paint again. Mittens continued to sit by the window, but this time she wasn't just gazing. She was guarding the portal of wishes, where a little cat had sparked a series of tiny miracles.